In this video, I'm showing you an MRA time of flight sequence. MRA stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. And time of flight sequence is a sequence that allows you to image the blood vessels in pretty good details without the absence of intravenous contrast. In this case, for MRI, we're talking in the absence of gadolinium. So on the left, you can see the reconstruction that includes the uh, bilateral virtual arteries, basilar artery, and then the PCAs, posterior cerebral arteries, and any communicating branches. And we have a reconstruction in which we can spin this uh, and examine some of the circulation from a lateral perspective, just like you would do in the angiogram. Um, interestingly enough, in the angiogram, sometimes you might require two injections in order to get this type of projection when you do a, a traditional diagnostic angiogram. In this case, you're doing it without IV contrast and you can then rotate your um, image in order to obtain different projections. Now I wanted to show you this one in which we have the same type of reconstruction but in this time in this case we have a little bit of a different um, angle so now we're gonna flip this uh, in a different perspective and you can uh, also kind of see the the circle will if the circle will is from above uh, so that's another nice way of seeing it. So in this case, you have the bilateral anterior cerebral arteries, and this is the circle of Willis, uh, just like how, how you see it on, on some illustrations online. Again, this is a, a good way of obtaining uh, an angiographic image of the brain without the use of IV contrast. And if we're able to get a study without too, too much motion, then uh, it becomes a really good study like this one.